Hey guys, uh, chapter 23, Gauss law, question number 6, not problem 6, it's question number 6. Let me read out the question. Uh, three infinite non-conducting sheets with uniform positive surface charge densities, sigma, two sigma and three sigma, are arranged to be parallel like the two sheets in figure. Uh, what, is, what is their order from left to right if the electric field E produced by the arrangement has magnitude E equal to zero in one region and E equal to zero in, uh, E equal to twice sigma by epsilon zero in another region. So we have three uh, parallel infinite charge sheets. This is one of them. This is the other one. This is the other one. Let's suppose this is having surface charge density of sigma 1. All of them are positively charged. This is positively charged with charge density sigma 2. And this is also positively charged with charge density sigma 3. Okay, sigma 3. Okay, uh, now, one of them is having sigma, the other one is having twice sigma, some, someone is having three sigma, which one is sigma, which one is two sigma, which one is three sigma, that's what we have to identify, okay? So, so is sigma one equal to sigma, two sigma, or three sigma? Is sigma two equal to sigma, two sigma, or three sigma? That's what we have to find out. It's going to electric field in one region is zero, and in the other region is uh, twice sigma by epsilon zero. So, electric field in this region is zero, and electric field in this region is twice sigma by epsilon zero. Okay, twice sigma by epsilon zero. So we have to find out sigma one, sigma two, and sigma two, uh, three. The options are sigma, twice sigma, and three times sigma. This is where we have to choose values for sigma one, sigma two, and sigma three. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Let's consider this uh, region one here, plate one. Now, infinitely charged sheet from this chapter, Gauss law applications, you must know electric field is equal to electric field is equal to sigma by twice epsilon zero due to a charged non-conducting sheet. Field is sigma divided by two epsilon zero. Okay, so this is basic formula which you must know. Now, uh, plate one field is rightward because it is positively charged, so away from the sheet. Plate 2 and E1 is sigma 1 divided by twice epsilon 0. Then plate 2 uh, field is leftward because again it is positively charged so away from the sheet. So E2 is equal to sigma 2 divided by twice epsilon 0. And then we have sheet 3. Sheet 3 again is positively charged so away from the sheet which is again leftward. So E3. <coughs> is equal to sigma 3 divided by twice epsilon 0. So E1 is rightward, E2 and E3 are leftward. And remember net field must be 0. Okay, net field must be 0. Okay, then uh, in this region, sheet 1, field due to sheet 1 will be rightward away from the sheet E1, which is again sigma 1 divided by twice epsilon 0. Then sheet 2, again field must be rightward away from the sheet. So field E2 is sigma 2 divided by twice epsilon 0. Then sheet 3, field due to sheet 3 will be leftward, positively charged, so away from the sheet. This time away from the sheet is leftward. So E3 is equal to again sigma 3 divided by twice epsilon 0. Net field is 0 in this region and net field is twice sigma by epsilon 0 in the other region. Okay, uh, Now this one, let's choose the white one. Yeah. So uh, electric field is zero in this region. That means uh, total field, magnitude of the total field rightward must be equal to magnitude of the total field leftward. So sig E1, magnitude of E1 must be equal to E2 plus E3. Magnitude of E2 plus magnitude of E3. So E1 must be equal to E2 plus E3. Okay, magnitude wise they must be same. This is for region 1, for region 1, this is region 1. 
Now E1 is sigma 1 divided by twice epsilon 0. E2 is sigma 2 divided by twice epsilon 0 plus E3 is sigma 3 divided by twice epsilon 0. Twice epsilon 0 cancels out everywhere. So we have sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 plus sigma 3. Okay, sigma 2 plus sigma 3. Since sigma 1 is sum of these two, sum of these two, so out of the three sigmas, out of the three sigmas, sigma 1 must be the greatest because it is equal to sum of the other two. Sigma 1 must be the greatest. So sigma 1 must be 3 times sigma. Sigma 1 must be 3 times sigma. So sigma 1 is what we have found from this equation is 3 times sigma. Okay, 3 times sigma. Now let's move on to this region. Now net field is twice sigma divided by epsilon 0. Okay, twice sigma divided by epsilon 0. So E1 plus E2 minus E3. Minus because it is in the other direction. Okay, so if we call this as positive direction and this as negative direction. So E1, E2 are in positive directions. E3 is in the negative direction. So E1 plus E2 minus E3 must be equal to twice sigma divided by epsilon 0. So let's write that here. So E1 plus E2 is equal to, no, minus E3 minus e3 is equal to twice sigma divided by epsilon 0. So this is for region 2. This is for region 2. So e1 plus e2 minus e3 is equal to twice sigma divided by epsilon 0. So now uh, e1 is again sigma 1 divided by twice epsilon 0. e2 is sigma 2 divided by twice epsilon 0. e3 is sigma 3 divided by twice epsilon 0 is equal to twice uh, sigma divided by epsilon 0. Now epsilon 0 is everywhere. It will cancel out epsilon 0, epsilon 0, epsilon 0, epsilon 0 cancels out. So we have... Uh, 2 I'll take common and shift to this side so we'll have sigma 1 plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is equal to twice uh, whatever I've written here this is twice sigma okay twice sigma so twice uh, 2 into 2 is 4 4 times sigma Okay, 4 times sigma. Now, sigma 1, remember, is uh, 3 times sigma that we have already found. is 3 times sigma. So, let's substitute that here, 3 times sigma and shift to that side. So, we'll have sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is equal to 4 sigma minus 3 sigma is sigma. Okay. Now, you see sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is positive. It's sigma. So, meaning sigma 2 must be greater than sigma 3. So, we have sigma 2 minus sigma 3 greater than 0 which means sigma 2 must be greater than sigma 3 okay sigma 2 must be th greater than sigma 3 what are the options sigma and twice sigma options are sigma and twice sigma so twice sigma sigma 2 must be equal to twice sigma and sigma 3 must be equal to sigma because sigma 2 has to be greater than sigma 3. So sigma 2 must be twice sigma and sigma 3 must be sigma and we have already found sigma 1 is equal to 3 times sigma. So out of the 3 sigma 1 is 3 times sigma, sigma 2 is twice sigma and sigma 3 is sigma. Is that fine? Okay, sorry that's it.